Hi guys, I'm John Carlo. I'm the owner of Torches International and today I'm going to do a video review for the Woven A21 Apollo. Check this out. Okay, so here is the Woven A21 Apollo sent in by Woven which uh, gave me some love by sending an extra bandana and also a flag. So here comes the box which is a very very good packaging a uh, retail packaging with a black and blue it's a matte box as you can see here at the back there's a quick specs it has a Cree XHP 70 but I think this is an XHP 70 version 2 the 70.2 version so anyway the battery is 21700 so you can see there the turbo which has an output of 4200 lumens high 1200 mid at 400 and low at 130 lumens and there's a moonlight at 5 lumens so you can see some quick specs there and uh, it's also IP68 rating Okay, it's a 1.5 meter um, impact resistant and has a 222 meter beam. So on the side you can see some product features over there. On the other side is the magnetic flap. See? So let's uh, wait no further and open it up. Wow, so this is really good packaging. As you can see there, you have the instruction manual. Uh, the light itself and these are the accessories which are in a black box let's take it out okay. the light sits on a hard black foam which is pretty awesome very neat packaging as well as you can see the light here okay let's uh, check this out Okay, I'm going to put the box to the side as well. There you go. Wow. Okay, let's set this aside. And let's open up the accessories box. Okay, here you can see the... Okay. We have the warranty card and also the certificate okay this is the quality control certificate as you can see there I'm not sure if you can read that but it says uh, June 25 2018 again thank you to Wuben for sending this light to me which I anxiously awaited <laughs> to arrive okay so by the way, they send in the cool white version of this light. Okay, we can see the holster here. Pretty sturdy holster with uh, oh, it's a velcro velcro strap for the belt. And you can see there. There is also a um, battery space. Oh, what do you call this? The battery uh, separate battery container you can put in the battery there or a spare battery if you don't um, if you need one okay and then we have two spare o-rings and uh, I think this is um, 18650 adapter because this light uses a 21700 battery and we have the type C USB charging cable we have the wooden lanyard which is pretty awesome as you can see there okay let's uh, check out the manual it's in English and also Chinese okay let's open up the English side real quick some product features and some operation 
some quick specs warranty and troubleshooting so okay let's go to the light as you can see here the light is very well built it's very good in hand and you can see the crenellated bezel is not that aggressive it has a orange peel reflector with the XHP 70.2 or 70 version 2 LED you can see the head here has some deep cooling fins there helps with heat dissipation and some small cooling fins as well you can see the e-switch with the woman logo on it the W switch <laughs> you can see the name there the model name A21 Apollo and then there is the clip which is very sturdy and also you can see some parallel knurling over the barrel on the tail end there's some parallel knurling as well and there are some grooves two three four five grooves there for better grip and let's um open it up oh you can see the tail cap is flat very good for a tail stand oh the threads are very smooth on this latch very awesome you can see the tail cap there has two springs it's two gold plated springs and there is a plastic cover for the battery oops just uh, used to protect it okay so this is a 21700 for 800 milliampere battery from Ruben it's uh, fairly big there you go I have an 18650 battery here <laughs> let's compare the size so that is how big the 21700 is <laughs> as you can see there this is uh, an MX Joe 18650 hydrate so you can use your 18650 put it in the adapter you can use it on the light but of course I would recommend using a 21700 because it has 4800 milliampere so let's put it in make sure the positive side is on the head side you can see the threads there are very well lubricated as well as the o-ring it's covered up and let's go to the operation of the light okay when you turn it on uh, there's also an LED indicator and this one is in low medium high turbo wow that's really bright Okay, to turn it off, um, press and hold. To change modes, just uh, one click. And um, there is a ramping up feature on the modes. <clears throat> Excuse me. From off, you just need to double click the switch, turn it on, and then you press and hold so it would ramp up. See? Okay, so to ramp down, we need to wait for the blink. So you can see there, it means it's ready to ramp down. So when you press it again, it now ramps down pretty much slowly, but it's ramping down. So, and then there's a blink again, means it's uh, ready to ramp up. So that's it. To turn off, you just one press click and that's it. Okay, so to go to the mode feature, just one click from off. Goes to moonlight and then low, medium, 
hi turbo and then double click for strobe another double click for uh, SOS there you go and then press and hold to turn it off I'm oh, sorry there you go pretty easy to operate so we have two mode groups if you want it ramping up or if you want it to go through the modes I prefer it going through the modes rather than ramping up because uh, it can ramp down so anyway it's a matter of preference so you can see here in the barrel also there's a green let's open this up so we can see there's a green I think this is a rubber I thought at first this was an o-ring <laughs> but it's just for aesthetics so there's a green rubber stripe as you can see there this is the inside of the head as you can see there and you can see the USB charging boot cover let's close this up first Oh, I accidentally turned it on. Okay, it's in there pretty tight. Okay. There, let's open up the USB boot cover. There, make sure it's uh, fully locked in. So, water won't go in. And, well, that's it. I think let's go out and do some beam shots, which I'm very, very excited. Let's go. Hi, guys. So this is the beam shots for the Wuben A21 Apollo. So right now, you can see this tree in front of me. It's about four feet away. This is on moonlight mode. Five lumens right there. Okay. So let's ramp up to low. Wow, significantly brighter. Okay, this one's on low. Okay, now let's ramp up to medium. We can barely see the tree in front of me. The tree is about 150 feet away. And there's the field. Okay, now let's ramp up again to high. This one's 1,200 lumens of the Wuben A21 Apollo. Wow, it's pretty bright already. The further tree, tree out there is 160 feet away. Can clearly make it out. The camera is not doing justice. 1,200 lumens of the Wuben A21 Apollo. Okay, now let's ramp up to turbo 4200 lumens holy wow that's extremely bright this is 4200 lumens of the woman a21 apollo you can clearly make out the tree out there 150 feet away and the farther tree is about 200 feet away you can clearly see the whole field this tree is 160 feet away wow this thing's really bright i can see all the way across the field that is about 400 feet away the farthest tree the light now is significantly getting hot at this point but wow <laughs> that's all i can say 4200 lumens right there awesome okay so that's it okay so in conclusion of the light I can say this is a very very awesome light from Ruben this is a very good build light and also it's very bright as you can see in our uh, beam shots and for the price it's uh pretty much worth it you get what your money's worth for this light and if i were to nitpick my only concern 
about the aesthetics of the light is pretty much this clip because uh, I'm used to having the clip um, facing head side like that way because uh, when I insert it into my uh, pants or uh, when you clip it the head is facing down not outside but they probably designed it because of the bigger head but uh, overall that's just my that's just me my opinion and also probably the battery which is very huge this is a 21700 again and it's very big that it won't fit my most of my chargers so i guess i need to buy another one or at least they have the type c usb charging however it's also not common to find a type c charging well for me here in the philippines but uh, we mostly use the micro usb not the type c so again it's good that it has its own onboard charging and its own um, type c cable so that solves that so overall that's it it's a very very well built light so if you have the chance i urge you to get the cool white version not the neutral white i know jason will be mad at me but the cool white version um gives out the 4200 lumens very well you know uh you can see it clearly on the beam shots compared to the neutral white and i forgot the explanation about it but uh, it's somewhere in the blf forum <laughs> Anyway, so that's it for me. Uh, thank you for watching. So I hope you enjoyed watching the video of this uh, Woven A21 Apollo. And also please don't forget to hit the thumbs up button and also subscribe to my channel if you still haven't. Always remember, two is one, one is none. Light on brothers.